Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. I have already uploaded the do or die chapters when it comes to the chemistry part and the physics part of your uh, upcoming KCET 2023 exam. And in the same way as you people uh, watch those two videos, many of you were commenting, uh, asking me to just upload same kind of video when it comes to the mathematics part too. So I just thought of uploading the same as soon as possible, which will help you uh, boost your preparation like anything by inculcating the same in your routine for the upcoming eight to nine days, which are remaining for your uh, the big day for the KCT 2023 exam. So before just entering to the video, I have one good news for you. For all of those students who are just uh, preparing for exams like KCT and JE, some of them who are currently studying in uh, top IITs and NITs of this nation have come up with a WhatsApp community called College Dost. College Dost is providing exclusive updates regarding KCT and they are also sharing best tips for your upcoming counselling process too through the same platform. So I have already joined this group and I can't uh, wait for their uh, updates regarding uh, KCT counselling and the same way tips regarding counselling. You can also join the group immediately by clicking on the link which I have already given in the description guys. So watch this video till the end guys because I don't want you guys to miss any chapter in this time because when there is very less time and when I am telling you very less amount of chapters to study then uh, I hope you understand these chapters are really important and I hope you understand the importance of this video guys. Again I would like to tell you one thing guys before telling you the do or die chapters list. So when it comes to an exam like KCT, all the chapters which come under the syllabus, all the curriculum become equally important and having a solid understanding of each and every chapter will give you a lot of edge over other students when you enter the examination hall. But now when there are around 8 to 9 days left for your KCT exam, it becomes highly important to understand what chapters contain more weightage and in the same way uh, prepare through the same line that will help you get a lot of marks by revising very less chapters in this very less time available. So that is the intention of me uh, bringing this do or die chapter series I have already uploaded for physics and chemistry. So now let us go through the do or die chapters for mathematics. First chapter which comes to my mind when I think of do or die chapters for mathematics is the set theory and uh, relations and functions. These uh, Both these chapters are uh, divided into two discrete chapters in your textbook but both are one and the same because uh, once you understand sets and how does set work then again on the same line you will be able to understand relations and in the same way again once you understand relations functions are a type of relations. So this becomes really important. Uh, I hope many people may have neglected this chapter because this may seem easy when you see it but still it has a lot of uh, concepts which you have to understand in order to solve some application level problems which come from these chapters. So set theory and relations functions all together contain around 5 marks so they comprise around 5 marks out of your 60 marks which is a big deal and in the same way the moreover what makes it more important or more worthy is that these chapters are very easy and can be dealt in around 1 hour and again in the remaining 30 minutes you can just solve some questions in the NCRT back exercise and in the same way solving some previous year questions will give you a lot of confidence guys. Yeah, moving on to the next one. Next thing is again this also catches my uh, attention because these chapters are literally very very easy and in the same way the fact that they carry more marks or the more weightage in KCT had surprised me too. Yes guys you heard it right matrix and determinants is what I am talking about. These are uh, kind of cakewalk chapters guys. Matrix is a highly easy chapter if you just understand the main concept and how to go about it. So I hope all of you also feel uh, very much comfortable in matrices because uh, when it comes to board exam also you guys uh, were very uh, happy when you saw high weightage for matrix and the same way and the same thing continues in KCT too. Once you understand matrices then understanding the addition of matrices, subtraction, multiplication. One tricky thing that I find in matrices is the multiplication of matrices. Other than that everything is just a cakewalk and everything is quite a low level according to me for a second PUC student. So I don't think uh, that will cause a lot of problems for you. And again with the highly good understanding or the uh, strong understanding of the concepts when it comes to matrices you can just sail through the chapter called determinants because once you understand everything about matrices determinants being an asset of this matrix will be quite easy for you. And again these two chapters as you know are very much easy and the fact that they carry around 6 marks around one tenth of your total 60 marks makes it a must deal in these 8 to 10, 9 days remaining and I, uh, requ I request you to finish this off today itself and uh, don't keep it to the next day cause chapters like these are a must deal 
and are quite worthy to deal yes guys moving on again uh, the next chapter which has been displayed on your screen is vectors and 3d so vectors and 3d geometry again is an easy chapter don't think i'm telling everything easy it must be easy for you because you people have dealt them for the uh, board exams which you have given recently and that should make uh, your journey smoother too so again these vectors and 3d contain around eight marks weightage in your uh, kcd exam that i hope i shouldn't say anything much because the eight marks weightage which is coming from this vectors and 3d will speak a lot about the importance of this chapter so vectors and 3d again uh, when it comes to basics of vectors cross product dot product addition of vectors unit vector yeah things like these are mostly conceptual but you should be able to understand what is happening with vectors and the same way try to adopt techniques through which you can solve application level problems which come from this chapter so i hope uh, vectors and 3d sorted again i have given easy level for this chapter again because even i feel this easy and most of the people who are with me who are with me even in my college even they feel vectors and 3d as an easy chapter if once dealt with ncrt exercises and some pyqs okay next moving on to trigonometry and inverse trigonometric functions yes guys the again uh, we are entering the 11th part of it uh, little now because all the chapters which i told earlier uh, except that uh, sets or the sets uh, theory uh, every question, every uh, chapter which i dealt earlier comes under this uh, 12th part which you have already dealt for your board exams so that doesn't that shouldn't cause a lot of problems for you coming to inverse trigonometry and trigonometry uh, you don't need to solve a lot of questions and think a lot about trigonometry. No, try to understand the basic thing about trigonometry. Try to understand some uh, expressions or some identities. Listen to me, guys. In mathematics, time is plays the biggest role, guys. Because when you have a lot of time, when you save time for questions which require a lot of time, and in the same way, save some time in questions which require a very less time, that puts you in a highly good position when you come out of the examination hall. So because many people fail to manage time in mathematics and I was a victim of it too. So I don't want you guys to just uh, fall into that trap. So I'm just telling you in advance that time management in mathematics plays a highly important role. Uh, trigonometry and inverse trigonometric functions. I hope you understand the basic gist of it and you should be solving some PYQs in order to get an idea of from where the examiner is trying to ask questions from. Because trigonometry in itself is a huge domain and you should be able to understand for KCET level what is the amount of understanding required and in the same way what is the examiner expecting from you. I hope uh, trigonometry is done. Again I have kept it to medium level because there are many identities in order to remember and in the same way there are inverse trigonometric functions, domain range, lot of things to remember but still worth of remembering because it contains around 4 marks. Yes guys 4 marks is also a big deal and uh, I uh, personally feel that uh, dealing with these two chapters for 4 marks is a good deal. Again, moving on to the next thing. Now we enter the big domain of calculus wherein uh, it has both differentiation and integration. An introduction kind of thing for this calculus comes in a chapter called Limits, Continuity and Differentiability. Again, this is a chapter which you have studied for your uh, board examinations and since it contains a lot of weightage too, I don't think many people who are watching this video have missed it for board exam. So limits, continuity and differentiability, again you should be knowing uh, about uh, calculating limits for the inde indeterminate forms like 1 to the power infinity, 0 by 0, things like that. Again, as a pro tip, I would like to suggest you to just try out L hospital rule first. As soon as you see any limit question, try L hospital rule first because many questions which come in KCET from this limits uh, domain will be easily solved in one step using L hospital rule. If you uh, have any trust issues with this protein then uh, kindly check out some previous year questions then you will be able to uh, relate to it and you will be able to understand why I am telling this so uh, that is one thing which you have to take care and again when it comes to continuity you should be knowing how to check whether a function is continuous or not in a particular in interval or in the same way at a particular point you should be able to check uh, left hand limit right hand limit and the corresponding value of the function when you place the corresponding uh, x into it this chapter altogether contains around 5 marks and I hope you will definitely able to grab at least 4 or 5 out of these 5 guys. So yeah, moving on. Uh, now let us see through differentiation and AOD. So differentiation is you should be knowing the basic concept of what actually differentiation is and some basic formulas for differentiation. So if it is in the form x to the power n then it should be converted into nx to the power n minus 1. These are some things you should know. 
following with these things you should be knowing some certain rules because there are rules such as product rule which is uh, famously known as uv rule from some uh, by some of you people yeah uh, product rule uh, will tell you how to differentiate a whole function which is expressed in the form of a product of two different functions and in the same way quotient rule which will help you uh, differentiate two different functions in the form of f of x by g of x so these are uh, certain formulas which you have to keep in mind and adding to this there are certain formulas known uh, there are certain rules uh, called chain rule chain rule is an important thing when, uh, when it comes to differentiation of implicit functions you should be able to uh, understand this and in the same way you should be able to uh, apply this when uh, it comes to kc 2023 exam guys i hope you will be able to do justice to this chapter if you know the basic understanding of all the formulas related to differentiation and in the same way in this point i would like to give you again a pro tip guys because uh, many people neglect the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions and that is what examiner knows examiner understands the fact that many people neglect this and he'll he or she will try to give questions based on it so i would like to suggest you to just go through that one so what is the differentiation of sin inverse x you should be able to tell it is 1 by root of 1 minus x squared. so that will be fine that will be more than okay again aod is application of derivatives so uh, if you understand differentiation well, if you understand the concept of maxima and minima well, you should be able to apply that in the same wherein you will be having word problems, where you will be having real life problems, wherein uh, those problems will be able to, uh, I mean, you will be able to solve those problems using the concept of differentiation. Again, uh, seeing the word problem, you should be able to arrive to one expression that will give you the final answer. I hope uh, that should be a cakewalk for you if you have understood differentiation well and in the same way solve some NCRT back exercise questions. Again, this ca this uh, unit altogether carries 8 marks which is quite a big deal and in the same way I have kept it as a medium level chapter because many people find issues with this chapter less. So if you just uh, go through this chapter and understand all the formulas and just apply that in some around 4 to 5 questions which have arrived in the previous year. I hope you will be able to understand the importance of it and in the same way uh, you will be able to get confidence in that chapter and you will be able to attend the questions in a highly confident manner. Now once you are done with differentiation there should always be a reverse of something so uh, now comes integration. Integration has been quite allergic to some people it was uh, quite allergic to me too in the starting but once you uh, get a feel of getting the answer once you get that uh, satisfaction of arriving to the final answer that will drive you like anything and in the same way that will guide you in a path where you will be in a position that you will be able to solve questions on your own you will be able to arrive to the final answer on your own and integration is a, a chapter wherein it requires a lot of hard work and now there is very less time left I would like to suggest you to just uh, go the retro way, the retro way which I had told you in order to tackle the organic chemistry part of it. Take some problems, then try to understand what is happening in the solution and from that try to understand from where examiner is trying to ask a lot of questions and in the same way uh, try to learn concepts from questions. So this is a method which has worked for me and I hope that will work for many of you who are watching this video too. That's why I'm just uh, suggesting you. In this integration altogether, indefinite integrals, definite integrals, and uh, application of integrals or area under the curve, these three chapters altogether comprise around 10 marks, which is again 1 by 6th of your uh, total 60 marks, and that makes it a must deal in these last 8 days. I hope all of you will at least try to uh, complete these integrals or uh, just revise off these integrals in these last 8 days. And in the end, uh, the eighth important chapter or the eighth do or day chapter is probability. Probability is a chapter which has a soft corner in my heart because I like the way uh, that we can relate to things. There are problems, there are real life problems which can be solved through theorems like Bayes theorem, total probability theorem, conditional probability theorem. So things like this uh, make that chapter very interesting and in the same way the fact that the chapter is interesting also and in the same way it carries more weightage makes it I have kept probability as a medium level chapter wherein you can just get confidence once you try and once you give some time to that chapter. I hope uh, you will be able to inculcate these uh, 8 chapters or give importance to these 8 chapters when it comes to your revision or your routine in these uh, last 8 days which will fetch you a lot of marks and in the same way which will put you into a great position because mathematics is the determining part when it comes to 
engineering to me this was it from my end guys i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed a lot while i was uh, going through each and every chapter and i was getting a nostalgia of uh, what how i felt when i uh, used to solve these chapters during my preparation don't forget to hit the like button if you also enjoyed watching this video guys because that will give me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future and the same way if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions then feel free to put it in the comment section because i'll be able to look through it and i'll be able to think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future i'd like to repeat the same thing trust the process which you are in right now trust your own abilities trust the effort which you are putting in give your 110 percent effort no matter what distractions come in your way be focused and develop a strong mindset which will let you go in the path in the prescribed path which in the prescribed path which will let you get a seat in your dream college because ultimately getting a seat in your dream college is what matters for you give your 110 percent effort even by chance even with around uh, 1 by uh, 10 to the power 9 probability if your kct 2023 exam didn't go well you will be able to be proud of the effort which you have put in in these last 10 days and that will definitely take the pain of regret out of the picture because I don't want anybody who is watching this video to be uh, regretting after the KCT 2023 exam that he or she didn't utilize this last 8 to 9 days effectively. For that reason itself, I am uh, insisting you guys to just uh, go into a zone wherein you will be able to prepare in a highly focused manner that will get you a seat in your dream college guys. Uh, this is Darshan Skroda signing off guys. We are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We will meet in the next video. Bye.